All right, so I just have a few clips on my timeline, but my second clip isn't fitting into the frame. To fix this, we can simply right click the offending clip, and here you'll see set to frame size and scale to frame size. I prefer using set to frame size since scale to frame size will resample your image and potentially reduce its quality. Okay, this worked pretty good, but there's still black bars on the top. You might also have some on the side of your video. To fix this, make sure your clip is still selected and go up to Effect Controls. In here, under Motion, Expand Scale, and then use a the slider to adjust its size. This looks good, but keep in mind that this will zoom in your footage a bit. If you don't want to zoom in at all and you're not afraid to degrade your image with stretching, you can uncheck Uniform Scale, which will let you adjust the scale's width and height individually. For this video, since my black bars aren't very big, it's not a big deal to stretch it just a little bit. Okay, this clip's looking good, but I still have a few clips after this on my timeline that are zoomed in and I want to apply this change to all of them. First, make sure your clip you just adjusted is still selected on the timeline, and then use the Ctrl C keyboard shortcut to copy it. Then drag to select all the clips you'd like to resize, right click them, and select Paste Attributes. Under Video Attributes, you'll want Motion to be checked, and then click OK. Alright, and there it resized all my videos just like the first one. Switching over to my last example, let's say you right click your video footage and go to Set Frame Size like before. But then you discover your footage is in a 4x3 aspect ratio and you'd have to zoom in a bunch to get rid of these massive black bars, probably cutting off things you don't want to. Instead of stretching your video, another option would be to set every video in the sequence to this one's size. For this, we actually want to undo setting it to the frame size, then go up to Sequence, and select Sequence Settings. In the pop-up, just change the frame size to your clip's original resolution. In this case, I'll set it to 2860 by 2160, which as you can see is a 4x3 ratio. Then just hit OK. Alright, and now every clip in my sequence is in that aspect ratio, including this 16x9 clip, which I'll have to scale up to match the others. This kind of aspect ratio can be good for social media like Instagram, but keep in mind if you're putting on YouTube, it's going to be playing in a 16x9 player, so you'll probably end up with black bars anyway. But yeah, that's it for this tutorial, so thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.